Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I just got an image of like a girl in a poodle skirt. I don't know, like um, maybe you're listening to some oldies, okay? Uh, you could be listening to oldies music. You could be, I don't know, maybe dressing up or um, going to going to some kind of party that like you're wearing a costume to. I don't know what this is about. Um, maybe you're like... You know, it's kind of giving me this feeling like you just want to be in a time where where things were more uh, were more wholesome, where people didn't like continuously screw other people over. I kind of get the sense that, you know, maybe you're feeling like you should have been like born in a different time or something like that. There's something it could have something to do with like skipping timelines or um I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting the image of you like in a poodle skirt. I don't know why that is. You could have recently got a poodle. Um, I don't know. Just take what resonates. It's going to be a special confirmation for someone. Um, the vine and the fence, right? I set healthy boundaries. My inner self is supported by firm boundaries that protect me. I am a vine that grows to my highest height on the fence of healthy boundaries. Yeah, okay, so boundaries, big time boundaries. Um, it's mentioned three times in one card. So, no, four times. No, three times in one card. Um, you've got, I feel like you've made it through this garden gate, okay? Um, and I feel like now that door is shut. It's shut on anybody from the past that wants to come back in. I'm seeing that your abundance is um, really starting to grow here, okay? Or it's going to in the future. I'm also seeing you possibly making an upgrade to a home in a gated community. Okay, that's for someone. I'm like giving you a lot of confirmations here. I'm hitting the nail on the head for somebody out here, okay, already, and we're only one card in. Um, so yeah, I feel like it, it could even be like all of the above, all right? You've got your boundaries up though, heavy. I am resilient, like the willow is like the willow in strong wind. I bend but do not break. When I weep, the tears renew me. I drop vitality from my roots and reinforce myself with a loving com community around me. Yeah, you could very well be moving to a new community, okay? That's an upgrade. That's um, in a very, I feel like it's a very secure area. Or this could be like an apartment building, right? With like high level security. I feel like you've been led someplace that's to keep you protected, okay? And here you'll start a new beginning. You know, I'm seeing things growing and sprouting for you, okay? That feeling of renewal like you get in the spring, that's happening now. We're in the spring. So if you haven't already made a house move, you, you probably will coming up here or you could. Because I see you going to a different community with like-minded people. Now there's going to be, I feel like wherever you were before, the people around you, didn't think like you at all like you you know you're I feel like you're you're a chosen one right divine feminine energy and you stand out from everyone else and now spirit is kind of redirecting you into a new area where people are going to be able to you're going to be able to work with other people you're going to be able to have an actual conversation about the stuff that you're into with other people um, they're, they're, you're going to be, um, you're going to be enlightened. They're going to have things for you to learn and you're going to have things for them to learn. It's going to be, um, really copacetic. Like you're going to really love it. Okay. The pillar of leadership. I am a leader. I speak in confidence with authority. I lead by example. I am a pillar of character that holds the weight of responsibility for my people. Yeah, and I feel like you are a leader. You know, you you could be a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher. Um, you you're very intuitive here as well. This is you having clarity, right? This could just be clarity, knowing where you're going. 
okay? Knowing you're going to meet, um, like, new soulmate connections, right? People who will speak to your soul, all right? Um, but, yeah, you're... Um, I feel like this is you just finally, like, taking a stand for yourself, calling your power back, moving forward, upgrading in your life, meeting new people. Like, this is the beginning of your new cycle, really, is what it feels like already. Okay? You're going to be starting to fill your life with new things now. It feels, it's like a really feel-good energy. And the people that you're going to be surrounding yourself from this point on are going to be people who are going to understand you, people who are going to challenge your mind, um, maybe um, uh, people who are going to, you know, excel with you, right? Um, yeah, I, I embody beauty. As the moon shows a new face every night, I show new facets of my beauty every day. I place no limits on myself. My inner beauty shines like the full moon. We were, um, we're in that full moon energy, right? Um, but I feel like what I'm really sensing here is like rejuvenation. There's something that's being, um, it's just uh, replenished. I want to say there's something being replenished for you. Like you could maybe start noticing like blemishes disappearing on your skin or you could be um you, like you could have been recently sick and now your body's starting to heal and you're starting to feel better um i i feel like this uh replenishment of your energy you could be drinking a lot of water these days as well but you're noticing changes in your skin like you could start like the years could be just like reversing for you Okay, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. And you know your power here too. I like you know you totally know who you are here divine feminine. You know your power. You know what the what the divine can do in your life. And um I feel like um yeah, you're healing here. It's you know what it um it's given me is like a some kind of they're showing me a pod that somebody what movie is that from? Oh, geez. The fifth element. Yes. Yes. You're the fifth element. Um, you know that pod that they put her in to, like, reconstruct her. That's what it feels. Oh, I'm getting the chills all over me. <laughs> oh, you're, like, being reconstructed, like, on a physical level. It feels like like a molecular, you know, um, that, that little thing moves back and it like swipes over her and it puts together like all of her muscle tissue and every, it like completely rebuilds her on a molecular level. That's, I feel like, what they're putting you through, what spirit is um, having you go through right now. There could be times when you could feel like unexplainable tingles, okay? Um, especially like something about your hands, unexplainable tingles in your hands and your feet. Um, someone here could be having some um, elbow pain though still, I don't know. You could be noticing some tingles all around your scalp. You could be getting like, um, you know what, it's, it's feeling like um, static electricity. <laughs> you know when your hair stands up? Um, that's what it's giving me here. You could notice that your hair is growing much longer. All right, there's major changes happening to your body right now, physically. So this could be making you feel tired at times, but then other times you may be completely energized. Your sleep schedule and your energy schedule, you know, it could be getting into a different kind of sink like um you could be feeling energized like at night where normally you would be super tired in the past right um so you're going to notice these little changes and the tingles i don't know something about the tingles in your fingers it's that reconstruction kind of energy so you're going through something physically um, you're making a location change, and you're going through something um, intuitively as well, mentally as well. 
you know, realizing who you are. You could be getting a lot of downloads right now, Divine Feminine. Spirit showing you things like um, past lifetimes, okay, showing you, like making you remember things that you may have forgotten, little things that, um, that have a huge meaning in this journey to tie everything in. I, I know I rang a bell on that one as well with somebody. You know, you like, um, you'll remember something that seemed very menial, like menial at the time, very small at the time. But now that's the key to like putting all of this together. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? Like they're showing you things. They're showing you yourself. They're showing you your past life history, possibly the things that you went through in the past, okay? You could also be feeling spirit like all around you. It, normally when I see a willow tree, I think of ancestral energy, okay? So I feel like you've got your ancestors around you right now at this time as well. Maybe they're fully aware that you're going through upgrades. I don't even want to call them changes. <laughs> it's way more intense than that. And I've never picked up on physical changes like this before. Okay. You're going to start noticing some major physical changes in your body. All right. Or the way that you move. Yeah, it's really crazy. And that is the scene that they're showing me, you guys. The movie is called The Fifth Element. And there's this pod that they put her in. And it is a really cool scene. They completely, like, reconstruct her whole entire body, okay? Um, and she's the perfect being, right? Yeah, I'm seeing you in this fifth element kind of energy, okay? <laughs> Oh, it's giving me the chills all over. Um, yeah, what is this? I am refreshed, and that's the first line. What did I just say? You are being replenished. Um, you're, um, you're being reconstructed, and the first line here, it says, I am refreshed. I cannot make that up. The Vin Sanctuary offers a soft and peaceful space to rest. We mentioned that as well. Um, like the moon over a calm sea, the divine, this divine energy restores my spirit and <laughs> cannot make it up, restores my spirit and nourishes me with stillness and quiet. I listen to my body and seek the rest it needs. I cannot make it up. Yeah, listen to your body. If you're tired, get your rest. Um, if you feel energized, work with that energy, Okay create something you know what i'm saying that's what you do but i feel like you are your body is being changed into like the fifth element <laughs> i don't know what else to say and with this coming out that's total confirmation you guys Whoo! that's some powerful energy yeah, I'm at peace with uncertainty. I trust the benevolence of God and the abundance of the universe. I embrace the sacredness of, of mystery. I have the knowledge I need today, and that is enough. Yeah, I feel like, you know what? You're, you know that you're being worked on somehow. You're being upgraded, elevated. Um, you know it. And here's the thing, you know this is all to start a new cycle. Maybe you're starting a new mission as well, and they're bumping you up, right? Upgrading everything here. Upgrading your senses. You've got elevated senses. They're upgrading your body, doing something to your physical body. And I feel like you're uncertain as to what's happening next, but boy, do you have the faith. You know that spirit is working on you and you're all right with that because you have faith. It feels like you have faith enough for the whole entire world. Okay, and big changes are happening to you, I'm telling you. I accept responsibility for my life. I'm not a victim but a hero. I cultivate, cultivate positive thoughts and empowering words which steer my actions to success. My tongue is the wheel of my life, and I am the driver. Yeah, you know how powerful you are. You've got the power. 
um, to like create your own reality here. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. When I see the wheel, it just tells me that there's a huge change happening and there's massive changes happening within you right now, divine, ma divine feminine. Holy cow. Holy cow. Yep, garden of joy is on the bottom of the deck. I am joyful. I tend a hidden garden of happiness in my soul. The world deserves my authentic joy. And I radiate positive energy. What did I say? Like you've got, man, you've got the faith, faith enough for the whole world. <sighs> yeah, I love, love, love this energy for you, Divine Feminine. Let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. Messages for Divine Feminine. And you could be um, also communicating with your spirit guides at this time or your ancestors. Because your ancestors are coming out like pretty loud and proud okay that's what this is they're very proud and they're um they're coming out strong in your reading okay all right what's the six of wands energy this is someone having a victory a new beginning yep i feel like this is your energy divine feminine you're being divinely led forward you're having this new beginning of victory in your life i feel like also this to me is is renewal with the ace of pentacles you can feel um spirit working on you here i feel like this is you being led into your new cycle you know um you could have you know this higher font i normally see the higher font as god right but but the higher font can also stand for your spirit guides, your ancestors. I'm feeling like you have an ancestor around you or a passed on loved one maybe who's trying to guide you um, into this transition, right? What is this? Emperor energy. Clarify the emperor. Thank you. Okay. So there is someone from your past here that wants to come back, okay? They're facing, they're facing the past and they want to come back to you. They're feeling like an absolute fool and I feel like this person has to face God. I don't know what else to say. They have to face God. And it looks to me like God is having a conversation with them here. See, God's explaining to this person, look, man. Uh, we're glad you are bossing up into emperor energy and all, but you made some really impulsive moves in the past without thinking things through, and Divine Feminine is now having a victory, having a new beginning. So, um, yeah, I feel like Spirit is blocking this person's path from coming back in. Yeah, and you're the definitely the one that they want. Yeah, and Spirit is telling this person... Yeah, this was the one for you. This is your divine feminine, all right. But, um, yeah, it's a bit too late. You've acted like too much of a fool. You can't come back in. There's, so there's a masculine here who wants to reunite. Okay? And spirit is stopping them. Um, I feel like they're able to see your glow up. Okay, divine feminine? You could have recently purchased a new car. You could have recently um, started a new job or, like I said, um, moved to a new home, okay? But something big has possibly recently happened in your life, and I feel like it's, it's um, you've already gone through a transformation, but I feel like this just really completes it, okay? I've got 10 pentacles here, right? So I feel like... Um, yeah, you're, um, you've done all your work. I feel like Spirit is congratulating you here, rewarding you, you with a new beginning, or maybe it's a new opportunity, something like that, right? New car, new home, <laughs> new job. Um, yeah, and I, I feel like it, um, this person from your past, they're allowed to watch you, but they can't come back in. They can watch you be abundant, but they can't come back in. Spirit now is having this person blocked. And when they try, Spirit has a conversation with them. So they know. <laughs> oh, they know what they're losing here, Divine Feminine, okay? And you are extremely abundant. 
you could have recently st um, started a creative project. You could be, um, you could have your own platform, something like that. Speaking about your spiritual knowledge, telling others your story. Being a leader, you're a leader. So I feel like you are in the public eye. Okay, and it's made you very abundant and very stable. You've been divinely led here with this little bird that you're talking to, okay? This person can see all of this, and now they want to come sp skipping back in, right? But they can't. Spirit's not going to let them. They're like, skip all you want. We're not going to let you. Tower moment. So this masculine's very foundation is being rocked right now. They're on very shaky ground. I kind of get the sense, too, that this person from your past, they may have been all up in their ego, okay? They, had a, they could have had a huge ego. Maybe even they, were, they could have been fairly narcissistic as well. Egotistical, controlling, selfish, okay? Dominating, that kind of energy, and spirits, they're bringing them down to size. I feel like now they're, um, they're shaking this person up. I feel like this person at one point, they kind of tried to defy God. They kind of wanted to go against God. I feel like they did anyway. They've broken some universal laws here. And that's kind of the same thing. So I feel like spirit is like, nope, we're going to shake up your world. We're going to shake your foundation to its core. We're going to bring everything down for you so that you have to rebuild the right way. This person's on very shaky ground. Because they feel maybe that they can control you. Okay? Maybe they feel like they want to, I don't know, come in and take advantage of all of your abundance. and Because it looks to me like they're stepping up towards God. You know, and look at how they're demanding. No, I want another chance. And Spirit's like, oh, you'll have another chance. You'll have another chance to rebuild your life. You'll have another chance to um, watch the collective move on and be happy. Those are your chances. You know, Spirit gave this person an opportunity with you, Divine Feminine. And they juggled you, or they couldn't decide if they wanted you or not. Spirit's like, no, you were a fool. You're losing the Divine Feminine. We're going to block you. We're going to bring down your tower. Yeah. Yep. And there they are. And now they're crying over it. Now they're crying over it, Divine Feminine. Okay, because they can't come back in now. They're feeling very defeated, and they're realizing here whatever they did to you has just backfired on them. Because they don't, their uh, spirit won't let them back in. Yeah, look, they're blocked. I'm telling you, two of swords. Um, yeah, spirit's not going to let this person back in. They may be praying. They may be going to God, right, to ask. Um, to come back in and spirit still saying no nope you could be dealing with the Taurus and Aries uh, cancer Pis sorry everybody my camera or my battery died you could be dealing with um, a cancer Pisces Scorpio maybe a Gemini you could be a Gemini you could be a Virgo Taurus Virgo Capricorn cancer Libra Gemini Aquarius maybe a Leo Yeah, you're about to have other options here, and this person gets to watch. They can't come back in. I feel like this is your energy. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this is you being healed, but hanging on to that sword that they betrayed you with, that they stuck in your back. You're hanging on to that sword like a souvenir. I feel like um, you know this person wants to approach you. You could be feeling really like protective right now of everything that you built and yourself, okay? I'm just getting the sense if this person were to step towards you, you would um, unleash your truth all over this person, like for real. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like you're protecting yourself and they can't come back in. You know, the Queen of Swords, too, she wants, the Queen of Swords wants to know the truth about why she was betrayed. You know, I feel like this person does want to approach you, but Spirit won't let them. So, I feel like what Spirit is doing here in whatever they're doing to transform you here, um, they're going to be showing you the truth behind all of it. Or, you may pick up on some kind of, like, intuitive communication with your person okay energetic communication with your person but i feel like um i feel like you've already realized enough to move forward okay and if this person can't come towards you spirit's going to show you the rest of what you need to know to continue to move forward but yeah um, I feel like, um, yep, yeah, they're going to show you. Spirit's going to show you. Okay? They know that the universe knows that you want, your, you want your justice, you want the truth. Okay? But I feel like you're not going to get it from this person. As a matter of fact, I feel like you've got new things coming for you. Wish fulfillment. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay? You've got... Um, emotional fulfillment coming towards you you've got someone who who is going to want to be committed coming towards you they're going to want to be loyal and dedicated to you generational wealth a whole lot of money and i feel like this person over here this is i feel like it's your divine masculine since they didn't do their work and they didn't learn the lessons they their their spirit is saying that they're not worthy of coming towards a divine feminine now, they could have had the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, but now I feel like Spirit is taking that away. Spirit's taking away their title. They go from an emperor to a page. Spirit's taking away their abundance. They could have had the Ten of Pentacles, but now they're in the Two of Pentacles. Spirit's taking away their wish fulfillment because you're leaving their life. So this person's being stripped of, like, everything, okay? Their blessings that they, that they had stored for them, those destined blessings, right? They're gone. They're, they're being given to you, collective. You, here you have ten pentacles already. You got ten pentacles here just for you. You're going to get their ten, right? You're going to get your person's ten of pentacles and their wish fulfillment, Okay, you're going to get the Ten of Cups because you are the Holy Grail Cup of Love. So, yeah, you're getting your blessings and their blessings, Divine Feminine, okay? And they are, they have to watch. They're, they're learning their lessons. They're getting their karma. They're being defeated. And they're feeling like a fool. <laughs> 